I deeply sympathize to Janine, my mother-in-law. It was very unfortunate to see her condition. I would rather had so much to drink at the party than her. At my wife Mary's birthday party, Janine drank too much which resulted in her mixing various alcoholic beverages and ended up sitting in front of the toilet, hugging it and spewing out all the food she had eaten and drank. And now it was all over. There was nothing left in her stomach, a complete emptiness, a total vacuum. I helped my mother-in-law up and washed her face. She didn't understand anything, but deep in her subconscious, she kept the realization that there was a man next to her and asked me to turn away because she needed to do something. What needed to be done? She didn't say and sat down on the toilet. She was unsteady, so I held her down while she sat. It was very important that she didn't fall and hit her head on the toilet. Oh no, she's already falling asleep. I lifted her off the toilet and led her towards the exit. Her friend helped me get dressed, and I walked my mother-in-law home. It wasn't far, and the celebration continued, and no one paid attention to what was going on with my mother-in-law. Anyway, the company didn't notice Janine's absence. She had recently separated from her husband, who liked to drink. There was no sadness in her face, but rather a sense of relief that she had divorced him. Besides, today was her daughter's birthday, so her mother-in-law could take a little break from her bad thoughts, and that was it. The whole way I practically carried Janine in my arms, keeping her from slipping into a coma. I just wouldn't let her sit up and fall asleep, which she wanted so badly. I was relieved when I laid her down on the couch. There was no desire or energy to drag that lifeless body into the bedroom. She collapsed on the couch. Well, I guess that would have been enough, but I couldn't take my eyes off her. She had a beautiful body. I didn't leave the room for a long time, and no sooner had I crossed the threshold than my mother-in-law was standing in front of me as if she hadn't been drunk. Before I could utter a word, she threw her arms around me and kissed me on the lips. It seemed to be an expression of her gratitude. The feeling was mutual, though. At any rate, I spent the night in her house. The next morning, I was awakened by my mother-in-law's screams and reproaches, saying that she was drunk, and I had taken advantage of the moment. I quickly convinced her that I could not act against her will, and that she wanted everything for herself. After a while, Janine calmed down, brought me coffee. In the morning, my mother-in-law and I engaged in adult play in the bedroom, and we were both sweaty and satisfied. She was no longer angry, but expressed gratitude for my attentiveness and compassion. The last thing she remembered was that she was drunk, and I helped her. I had held back a bit on some occasions, and she still retained some resentment for drunk and feminine stupidity, advising me not to take offense at it. However, what to do about our relationship now? and God forbid if my wife found out. I proposed a simple solution she now lives alone, and I will visit her a couple times a week on the condition that our meetings will be secret, and she will not reveal our secret to my wife. My mother-in-law nodded happily, her eyes sparkling like emeralds. In the morning, I returned home to my wife. Arguments and questions began about my absence from home. I told her the truth that I had carried her drunk and mother on my back and brought her home where she subsequently fell asleep, and that I was also very tired and fell asleep at her place. My wife believed me and softened. She praised me for being a good husband who had not abandoned her mother in her time of need. Yes, of course I did good, but she doesn't know the whole story, and hopefully she never will. In the days that followed, as I slipped back into the routine of daily life, I realized that some stories are destined to go untold. To remain in the shadows of memory as reminders of the complexity of human connection and the power of shared experiences to shape our lives in unexpected ways.